Hello and welcome to another episode of The Bulletin. I'm Roxy. And I'm Tamarie, and here's the news from this week. SBHS's theater's production of Bullets Over Broadway is in its second weekend. It shows tonight and tomorrow at 7 p.m. There is also an afternoon showing Sunday at 2 p.m. The Bulletin's very own Robert Allen is in it. We asked him what part he was playing, and he described it as Mr. Steal Your Girl. The Sports Report's very own Joe Hill is also in it, so there is a great cast. Be sure to check it out. A young Scottish surfer went missing on Sunday, and 32 hours later he was found in the middle of the ocean by the Scottish Coast Guard. The man was lost at sea for 32 hours and was suffering from severe hypothermia. Rescuers saved him and now he is recovering in the hospital. Authorities say that his thick wetsuit and his hood and boots helped him stay warm enough to survive. Let's check in with Robert at Counselor's Corner. Hey everybody, I finally escaped captivity of Will Hahn. Welcome to Counselor's Corner. It is not too late to sign up for SBCC classes in the summer. Take your signed SBCC paperwork to SBCC to get the approval to take the class and then sign up and pay your fees. You can sign up for an SBCC class until the first day of class. If the class is full, email the professor and check pipeline every day. Students add and drop classes all the time. Don't forget to pay your fees for any classes done at SBCC. Online classes don't have the fee and don't get the free bus pass, so be aware. Juniors, sign up for the SAT or the ACT online. June 3rd SAT deadline is May 9th. The June 10th ACT deadline is today, so get it done. Go to atstudent.org or the sat.collegeboard.org. Sophomores in an AP class or, if you're fluent in a language, sign up for the SAT subject test. sat.collegeboard.org. The June 3rd SAT deadline is May 9th. Freshmen, this is for you. This is your summer to get your community service done and turned in. It looks good for colleges. It's a high school graduation requirement and it's the right thing to do. And it looks good for job applications. A list of places is on the counseling office counter and updated events are in the College and Career Center. You don't want to be that senior who hasn't done a single hour all four years. Well, that's all the information I have. This is Robert, back to you in the studio. Amazing as always, Robert. Now let's head on over to ASB. Hi, I'm Angelica, and this is ASB. Legislature a meeting is happening next week on the ASB room. And this is ASB. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, guys. We'll be back after this commercial break. For all seniors going on to college next year, here's a life hack. A coffee maker can be used to cook many things. A waffle. Top Raymond. A quesadilla. Crispy. Santa Barbara High School dons rider bike, celebrating Cinco de Mayo today at lunch in the quad. Custom cars and hot chili eating contest with gift card prizes. We've shown you the signs of dating abuse. If you don't know what to do, don't be afraid to ask for help. It's important to know where you can go for help and support. The Counseling Office or text LISTEN to 741-741. It's time to check in with Sports Report. Good morning, Sam Barbara. Hi, I'm Andrew. I'm Joan. Here's your week's Sports Report. Baseball played San Inez on Wednesday. Good job, guys. Boys golf competed against Rio Maisie yesterday. 
Whoa, excellent ball flight there, mate. Softball finished their season with a victory against Carpinteria on Tuesday. Great season, ladies. Swim and dive competed in the Channel League dive finals on Monday, the girl prelims on Tuesday, and boys on Wednesday. They competed in the Channel League finals yesterday. Good job out there. Boys tennis competed in the Channel League individuals all week. Shout out to our two Europeans on the team, Andre and Jonas, for making it to the semi-finals of that tournament. The team plays in the playoffs next week on Wednesday. Good luck, boys. Track and field competed in the Channel League finals yesterday. Good job, guys. Boys volleyball went 8-0 in league and 19-6 overall. They take on West Ranch on Wednesday in a tune-up match before the CIF playoffs. That's it for this week's Sports Sport. I'm Joe. And I'm Andrew. Back to you guys in the studio. That's it for this week's episode of The Bulletin. I'm Tay Marie. And I'm Roxy. Have a good weekend. Can't be too extravagant. Can't stop addicted to the shindig. Chop top and says I'm gonna win. Wait, no, it's just for flotation. We need to go forward. I think this could push through the spikes on the beaches of Normandy. The white men, white heat, the screaming in the jungle. Complete the motion if you stop. This is the construction of the paddle. <laughs> Sweetheart is bleeding in the snow cone So smart she's leading me to ozone Ugh. Here I got the door Oh, 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 oh it's a bridge Or, or something Alright, which way are we going? Um. I am with the USS Bulletin to set sail in the pool. This has not been tested, but it's okay. And you gotta get you have to get to the end of the other side. With the boat. With the boat. job so we are going to dispose of it into the Marburg Industries. The USS Bulletin. <laughs> <laughs> oh!